I254 Imagine Good evening and thank you for joining us on Y254 News. My name is Patricia Murioki. And tonight we talk about the drug abuse menace. And with me in studio is Gilbert Shikwe, Silas Otieno, founders of an uh, initiative called Zoezi Mtahani. And drug abuse is one of the biggest problems confronting Kenya, especially among the young people. Incidents of drug abuse and related antisocial behavior have increased in recent years, which is a matter of concern in the society. Talk to us through our social media platforms, that is uh, hashtag Y254, oh, sorry, that is uh, Y254 channel at, on Twitter, hashtag Y254 news, and Y254 channel on Facebook. You can be part of this conversation, so feel free to ask any questions that you may have. This is a, a, a Zoezi Mtani is a, it is an initiative whereby they are hoping they are going to, to engage young people in activities such as uh, team building, they are going to have counseling to make sure that they try to eradicate uh, the use of drugs, which has become a problem uh, in Kenya and even in other nations. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us. And to start with you, uh, Silas, tell us more about Zoezi Mtani. Like, what does this, what does this all thing entail? Zoezi Mtani is an initiative that came up just, we are like three of us. Mm -hmm. uh, like, Bobby mm -hmm. used to be an addict. Mm -hmm used to drink a lot, mm -hmm. use substance a lot. Mm -hmm. So he lost a lot of jobs. He's a, f he's a physical trainer, mm -hmm. a certified trainer. Mm -hmm. So as he was recovering, mm -hmm. he, he decided to look for job. Okay. So we decided we start from Tani. Mm -hmm. You start small, mm -hmm. when you recover, you go big. Okay. So. At, at that point mm -hmm. is when the idea came. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so for you, Gilbert, probably, yes. what what would you say? Because for for someone to to start uh, using drugs, whether it's the soft or the hard drugs, this this is probably something that pushes you. There's that trigger that triggers you to go and indulge in alcohol. So what for you was the cause of Thank your you drug for having abuse? Me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, for me, mm -hmm. it started as a curiosity. Mm -hmm. I wanted to experiment. Mm -hmm. So from experimenting and then uh, company, mm -hmm. the people that I had around me who mm -hmm. were using substance, mm -hmm. and then uh, before I knew it, mm -hmm. I was hooked. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I couldn't get out of it mm -hmm. So much later. Uh, yeah. Tell us about uh, your recovery journey. For someone who is out there and is struggling with drug abuse, yes. and they want to stop it, but they're finding it very hard because they make the decision to stop it and their friends are still using it. Mm -hmm. So would you t tell uh, your story mm -hmm. briefly to mm -hmm. someone who is out there so that they can get some inspiration? Okay. For me, first of all, uh, after, uh, like, uh, like Sila has just mentioned, mm -hmm. I lost a lot. Mm -hmm. I lost jobs. Mm -hmm. I lost a marriage. Mm -hmm. I lost houses. Mm -hmm. And then uh, also started affecting my health. Mm -hmm. Then I got tired. Mm -hmm. I got tired to a point uh, mm -hmm. I felt like I can't do this no more. Mm -hmm. So I came to an end of myself. Mm -hmm. So at that point is when I met my friends. Mm -hmm. First of all, I went down on my knees and prayed to God to help me uh, overcome this addiction. Mm -hmm. He intervened. Mm -hmm. Then uh, what next from there mm -hmm. after quitting? Mm -hmm. uh, that's when my friend and others came in. So using what I had before, which is fitness, mm -hmm. we thought we can use it to engage instead of just being idle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, I used fitness mm -hmm. to overcome the addiction, to okay. fill the void, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So that way, and then uh, I chose the right company, mm -hmm. just being with the right kind of uh, people, mm -hmm. fitness enthusiasts, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. And uh, avoiding the, the other companies, mm -hmm. yeah? Okay. Stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So for you, Silas, what motivated you to to give your time, to invest in this initiative? What was your greatest motivation behind this? You see, first, for me to come up and 
us to start this thing mm -hmm. you can either be affected directly or indirectly mm -hmm. yes so like bobby was affected directly mm -hmm. me i was affected indirectly mm -hmm. my dad is an alco was an alcoholic mm -hmm. i have cousins i have brothers mm -hmm. i have friends who mm -hmm. are alcoholic mm -hmm. so i was surrounded with people who drink alcohol do weed do mm -hmm. drugs mm -hmm. hard stuff mm -hmm. so in to avoid this thing of nipatie 10 bob nipatie 20 bob niwachie kitu eh to a form those things mm -hmm. so we come up with this initiative mm -hmm. you try work out mm -hmm. you be sane mm -hmm. so that that time you go sleep you wake up you are sober mm -hmm. you can do something for yourself okay yes uh I'm quite sure before you guys started your initiative, Mlifanya Research, you went out and tried to get information of why do people abuse drugs? Why would someone uh, prefer to take to, to smoke cigarettes? Why would someone prefer to take alcohol? So what are some of the causes that you guys were able to find out? Peer pressure, mm -hmm. uh, bad company, mm -hmm. uh, stress, jobless, mm -hmm. what else? Mm. Okay. So, Idleness. Uh, so now we, we are, we're having a very big problem and a very big challenge yeah. in our country right yeah. now where most young people say they do not have jobs. Yeah. And there have been uh, there have been initiatives, there have been issues whereby people want to try to help them secure jobs because by helping them secure jobs, then they get them out of uh, crimes and out of drugs. So you guys decided that people are going to join you for fitness and everything. Yes. So what do you what 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 do what what made you go for fitness and not any other thing? Why not motivate people to go to rehab? Why not motivate people to we, have we, uh, focus groups where they can talk? Why fitness? Why do you think fit, fitness is going to work? We are. I'm an expert in fitness. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I've been a fitness instructor for more than twenty years. Mm -hmm. So. I've been doing rehabilitation exercises to mm -hmm. help people. I've been doing team buildings mm -hmm. to help organizations. Mm -hmm. So we decided, mm -hmm. why not do it where we came from? Mm -hmm. Because that's where we started. Mm -hmm. If we can't do it where we started, mm -hmm. then we proceed. Mm -hmm. you know, the generation behind us, yeah. it will be no more. Mm -hmm. That's how this thing came up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and why, why fitness? Why did you guys choose to go with fitness for you, Gilbert? Why did you choose to go with fitness and not maybe talk to someone and uh, register them in a re rehabilitation center where they're gonna stay there for a couple of weeks and there and these these totally people talking to them and everything? What makes you be convinced that a young person or someone out there yeah. will want to come and work out and be convinced that working out is going to take the time that I would use in abusing drugs? Okay. We, we chose fitness because mm -hmm. that's what we got. Mm -hmm. That's what we have. Mm -hmm. There are other channels, many mm -hmm. other channels. So we thought we should approach it where we have the strength. Mm -hmm. So our strength is fitness. That's mm -hmm. where we have the expertise. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, fitness gives you a high, mm -hmm. the same high you get from drugs. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. The release of endorphin, mm -hmm. it gives you that feel good. Mm -hmm. It's the same stuff you, you, you get from drugs. Okay. So we thought. It can be an alternative, mm -hmm. okay? So we encourage people to e engage in fitness mm -hmm. instead of doing drugs, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. And there are other benefits also. Mm -hmm. There are other benefits you get from fitness apart from mm -hmm. filling the void of doing drugs, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so how do you plan to mobilize people? Uh, so you, uh, according to uh, the bio that you guys sent, you say that you, you, you're going to work in, uh, based in estates. Yes. You plan, th if probably we're working on this estate. So how do you plan on mobilizing people to come out? Let's take, for example, a young man, a young girl somewhere who is not a fan of fitness. Mm -hmm. They have never even thought of just may probably running or even walking to the bus stop is hectic to them. So how do you plan on mobilizing people so that you can give them all that, so that they can get the results that you guys hope they're gonna get at the end of uh, the fitness uh, initiative. Mm -hmm. We have a team, mm -hmm. yeah. So we have delegated these duties to others. Mm -hmm. There are others who are doing the mobilization. Mm -hmm. We are doing the awareness, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And then we encourage you to try. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Try and see, mm -hmm. okay? And you'll, you'll find out that it's good, mm -hmm. okay? It's mm -hmm. actually working. It worked for me. Mm -hmm. It can work for I you. am like uh, an example. They know. Mm -hmm. Those who live in my neighborhood, they mm -hmm. know my history. Mm -hmm. So they see, actually it worked for me, so mm -hmm. they know it mm -hmm. can work for them. Mm -hmm. So we use my example and others. Mm -hmm. There are other members in our team. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we encourage you to come and try mm -hmm. and observe. Mm -hmm. One, two, three months, mm -hmm. you see the results, you enjoy, then you continue the program. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, sailors, let's talk about the, the time. Uh, we know that uh, for someone to go through something, to be talked about the dangers of drugs, to be told about the benefits of getting out and the benefit of stopping uh, using those drugs, it's going to take time. Yeah. So how long? Probably if someone came to you or as you mobilize and someone approaches you and they are willing to go through the program, for how many hours a day probably would they have to, to work out? And how? what period have you guys probably stipulated that probably by two months, by three months, this person is going to be free of drugs and can do other things? Uh, basically, our program is for workout is like, 45 to an hour, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's not those hard workouts people think about. We mm -hmm. do Zumba, we do Pilates, mm -hmm. we do yoga, we do Tabata. Mm -hmm. So it's fun. Mm -hmm. So you engage. It is. It it also help you relate with other people mm -hmm. as you work out. Mm -hmm. You make new friends mm -hmm. who both of you will be of the same course at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So probably it will give you like. 9 to 12 weeks, mm -hmm. yes. So 9 to 12 weeks, someone yes. can be okay. As, as much as you are doing fitness, mm -hmm. we also talk to them. Mm -hmm. We give them option, we give them hope in life, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because some of them, mm -hmm. Tani, mm -hmm. they just know about handouts. Mm -hmm. Sports and handouts. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to tell them there's life beyond what mm. you know mm -hmm. yes okay yeah. so now let's say you you have said that you're gonna start with nairobi and then go to mombasa busia and kisomo yes now you've mumeanza nairobi yeah. you've done maybe let's say you you, you cover 10 estates in yes. nairobi yes. and it's time for you guys to leave to mombasa yes what what are the what what strategies are you going to put and make sure that the person we interacted with in a certain estate after we've left is not going to back slide and get into drugs again we do follow-ups mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. we'll be doing follow-ups mm -hmm. we have a team of like 20 guys mm -hmm. but as we go as we move we'll be recruiting as we move on okay when you go to an estate that we are not familiarized with we, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. go we talk to people mm -hmm. in that area mm -hmm. they tell us how to go about it mm -hmm. then they join us mm -hmm. and do it together. Okay. Yes. Uh, Gilbert, for you, having been a drug addict, I'm sure there are times that you, there are days that would come and you're like, I, I want to go back there. Mm -hmm. So maybe during those days, what did you used to do? What did you uh, uh, give your time to to make sure that you don't uh, backslide? It wasn't easy, mm -hmm. for real. Mm -hmm. The relapses, you're talking about the relapses, mm -hmm. actually happened. Mm -hmm. There's a time I quit for three months, mm -hmm. and then the relapse came in, mm -hmm. the cravings, mm -hmm. and the company, I, kept, I still kept the company. Mm -hmm. Then I relapsed back, and it was worse. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I tried again. Mm -hmm. That's when I learned that you have to fill the void mm -hmm. with something. Okay. In this case, I used fitness mm -hmm. with my uh, with my friend here, mm -hmm. Sila, mm -hmm. who held my hand and mm -hmm. other friends. Mm -hmm. uh, without the support of people like him, mm -hmm. it wasn't easy. Okay. So. For anyone who's struggling with uh, addiction mm -hmm. and is battling the cravings, mm -hmm. he needs a support mm -hmm. around him, okay. like friends, fitness enthusiasts, mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. okay, and especially strong will, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay, uh, guys, we're, we're going to be taking a very short break on Y254 News, but when we come back, we get to talk about what does Zoezi Mtahani has for the people in the rural areas who are not living in the cities. We're going to be taking a very short break. We'll be right back.